Okay, so another thing I haven't really shared, which is one of the weirdest things I've ever encountered. I had three MRIs before I went to that place. I wasn't complaining about anything. I was just told I had to go. It was my dad and I had no rights at the time, so I basically had to. Um, So I did it and I was immediately like, why am I having to go to do these MRIs um, so many times? Because when I was younger, I had a cyst on my chest when I was like eight years old. They did an MRI because they thought it was cancer, but it wasn't. It was completely fine. Um, so ever, whenever I hear the word MRI, I kind of was like, oh, that's a big deal. Like something must be wrong with me or whatever. Um, but I remember when I was younger and I was like eight, um, I stayed in that machine for no more than 30 minutes, if that. And you had to be still and you had to do it all over again if you moved. But when I went during the conservatorship, right before they sent me to that place, I did it three times and I stayed in there for an hour each time, which is a lot of being still and I had to go back three times. And so the whole thing didn't make sense. The um, isolation, the nurses, the vase blood, the constant communication. And I swear to God, it was some sort of, to me, I was like, wait, is this a new kind of cancer treatment? That's why they sent me away to this place. Um, they didn't want me to know. Is that what's the big secret? Like, and, uh, so yeah, I was basically really kind of confused, you know? Um, so, um, honestly, yeah, again, I wanted to believe that because maybe it made more sense, but none of that was true. (laughs) None of that is true. I'm fine. I'm alive. And, um, if my dad, the conclusion, the hardest thing is to just know that they were just being mean. And I really felt like my dad was trying to kill me and I hope he burns in fucking hell.